There's also a federal court ruling that states, uh, specifically, cockfighting is a victimless crime. If it's a victimless crime, why is it illegal? Horse sword is a victimless crime. Why is it illegal? Your dog, puppy mill, or whatever you want to call it, is a victimless crime. Why? Because animals have no rights. They're all victimless crimes. If those are victimless crimes, why are they illegal? Moral disapproval. Somebody else, some animal rights idiot doesn't like it. Well, guess what? Wayne Pacelli, his opinion doesn't help supersede mine. It doesn't supersede yours. <laughs> There's a federal court ruling that states and this federal court ruling was just upheld in the United States Supreme Court last year. This states, moral disapproval is not an adequate basis to deny rights of men and women. There's also a United States Supreme Court ruling that states, for a crime to exist, there must be an injured party. In other words, a victim. If there is no victim, there is no crime. There is also a United States Supreme Court ruling that state out of Texas that states the government must prove a significant governmental interest to infringe on your property rights. And even if the government finds a significant governmental interest to infringe on your property rights, they must do so in the least intrusive manner. They'll use the excuse and say, oh, well, there, there's drugs. Well, there's drugs in the football game, too. They're two separate events. You want to stop drugs? Okay, well, I, I don't want drugs at a, at a game talk to be either. I don't want drugs at a, a rodeo. I don't want drugs at a, uh, a, a horse show. I don't want drugs at a chicken plant. They're two separate events. I want you to stop the drugs too. But you don't criminalize a football game because somebody at the football game has drugs. Treat the two events and two separate things as two separate things. And as far as gambling, there is no gambling at a cock fight. You've got wagers between two people. Wages between two people, even the Supreme Court judge, Senator Dale O'Connor, has stated wages between two people is not legislatable. You can't pass a law against it. Why? Because you'd have to assign a law enforcement officer to every single person, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to make sure they don't make a bet with their neighbor. That's right. That's unenforceable. That's, that's, that's a ridiculous to even think, unless you want a total fascist country. Now, with this, uh, the purse putting up money to enter a derby. That's what happens in a pool tournament. That's what happens in a golf tournament, a bowling tournament, a dart tournament, or show. All of these things are an entry. You put up an entry fee, a rodeo, you put up an entry fee. And then you compete to see who has the best record. And whoever has the best record at the end of the day takes the purse home. Same exact true thing is true at a Gamecock Harvest event. And if you cannot take and go out and arrest the golf, the person off of the golf course or at the bowling tournament because they're competing for that purse, up under legal terminology, it's actually called a general prize fund. If you can't arrest them, for competing at a, for a general prize fund, then you can't arrest the Gamecock farmer for competing for a general prize fund. Because under the 14th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, we're all entitled to equal protection of the law. Understand where your God-given rights come from. Okay? God gave every man dominion on the earth, animals, fish, and fowl. The United States Constitution is written to ensure every man is created equal. Okay? Another man cannot supersede, step in and supersede my God-given rights. 
Dominion means un unaccountable control and rule. Remember the old saying, a man's home is his castle? Anybody remember that? Yes, sir. That's the truth. A man's home is his castle. You have complete dominion and control of everything that you own. As long as you're not using it to hurt someone else or infringe upon somebody else's rights. So God gave you your dominion. The United States Constitution is written to ensure and protect and guarantee your dominion. When they start trying to take your rights away from you using animal welfare laws, understand what that is. That is a communist plan called the United Nations Agenda 21. A lot of your animal rights people don't even, they're, they're clueless. They don't even understand that that's what they're trying to help us with. 